Hey everyone, welcome to episode 63. On today's episode, we're gonna take a look at how to assemble your brand new Cobra Clash 29-18 patching sewing machine from Leather Machine Company. Now, this video shows you all the steps after you have taken it off the pallet and unboxed all the items. So let's take a look at how to assemble. Okay, so you'll receive a small plastic kit with a bunch of items inside, such as a pack of needles, mounting hardware, an LED light plug, an extended presser foot, bobbins and a thread guide, two screwdrivers, two thread wires, the LED light, the thread stand, and the machine belt. After you install the casters to the base, take a close look at the tabletop. There are four small holes and these are the mounting holes for the machine head. Carefully lift the machine onto the table and when positioning, you want to line the machine up with the four holes. Notice there are no holes in the machine itself. You will mount the machine head to the tabletop from underneath. A large washer goes on the bottom followed by a locking washer. Attach the bolts to the machine and use a 13 millimeter socket to tighten everything down. For the LED light, place the washer over the hole and feed the cable through. Add a washer to the bottom and tighten down with the nut. The LED light needs the plug, so slide off the cap, take the cable and insert it inside the end, and then lay the cable flat. Now slide the cover back into place for it to hold everything together. Don't forget to do some cable management so that nothing gets in the way of fast moving belts. Here I'm just using some Velcro or you can use some zip ties. Now you can plug the light into the power switch box in the back. For the thread stand, use a washer on top and insert the stand into the hole. Then use the small black washer followed by the large washer before tightening everything down with the nut. To add the belt to the machine, you wanna make sure it sits on the outside small grooved wheel. When attaching to the speed reducer, you want to rotate the speed reducer so that the belt fits into the small grooved area. The final step is to add the thread guide post. Use a hammer to lightly tap the post into the available hole behind the hand wheel. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on next week's episode. Take care.